Hi everyone, welcome back to Face Facts by Dr. Yustra. On this YouTube channel, I teach you everything you need to know about the aesthetics and wellness space. We talk skincare, we talk treatments, we talk wellness. But most importantly, we talk truth. I like to separate facts from fiction and trends from truth. And on today's video, I'm going to cover the latest best devices that you can get your hands on in the Black Friday sales. Now, who am I? I am Dr. Yustra Amukhtar. I'm a medical aesthetic practitioner with a background in dental and oral surgery. I'm the medical director of the Dr. Yustra Clinics based in London, Liverpool, and Manchester. And I have a lot of devices. I'm sitting here in the clinic amongst a range of different devices and a device I'm about to get into, which is our infrared sauna. But I want to talk to you about things that you can use at home that can be supportive adjuncts to your in-clinic treatments. And a lot of people ask me about what's worth buying and what's not worth buying. And I think it's important to understand the scope of home-based devices and also the limitation. So let's get into it. Think of your at-home devices like a supportive adjunct that can keep and maintain your results, but they're not going to be transformative. And there's a reason why. They are formulated such that they don't have to have the same approval systems or clinical supervision that in-clinic devices have, which means they have very little risk to health. Whereas, of course, the big massive devices that we have over here, which are 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 130,000 pounds worth devices, have very, very strong outputs. And these are measured differently according to which modality of treatment. I'm going to explain to you what I mean by this. So the first thing I want to talk about, which I think is worth investing in, is LED light therapy. LED light therapy has been around for a long time and has robust clinical evidence behind it showing that actually it does help to improve skin health. So how does it work? Well, an LED light emits a certain amount of energy and a certain wavelength of light depending on what color of light it is. For example, you can get them in red, blue, uh, infrared, and even green light therapies, and they are absorbed in different areas of the skin or the face or the body. And let's talk about the most common one, which is red LED light therapy. Now, it has been proven time and time again that our bodies absorb light. So when light hits the body, our skin cells are made to absorb and respond to light. And there's a reaction that happens called a photochemical reaction that results in modulation in the biological activity of the tissues that absorbs the light. This is called photobiomodulation. It means that the light energy that's absorbed into the tissues create some form of biological process and change. And this is usually a favorable change, but of course can be unfavorable in, for example, UV light, which can cause damage to the uh, cells or the DNA of the cells. Let's talk about non-damaging light or non-ionizing radiation. So non-damaging light is things like LED light therapy. Now, red LED light therapy is absorbed by the tissues absorbed by cytochrome C oxidase in the mitochondria, the little organelles that are found in every single cell in the body, in every animal actually. And these little organelles, the mitochondria, are the battery or energy powerhouses or engine that allows the cell to do its function. But it has to undergo cellular respiration, meaning it takes what we eat, turns it into energy, and then the cell does its function. When you have light being absorbed by the mitochondria, it produces more ATP, which is a fuel source or a fuel, and that allows the cell to do its function. So when it comes to fibroblasts or skin cells, it helps those cells to lay down more collagen because they become activated, they have more energy to do what they need to do. Then there's blue light therapy, and blue light therapy is absorbed also superficially, and it kills the bacteria that causes acne on the skin. And then there's near-infrared or deep near-infrared therapy or, or light, and that's absorbed a little bit deeper and can help with inflammation and wound healing. And it's a fantastic tool in our toolkit in our clinic. Of course, the 20,000 pound TriWave MD medical grade light therapies that we have are not the same as the couple of hundred pounds LED light masks that you can buy over the counter. So is it worth buying? Well, it depends if you're going to use it consistently. Let me put this into perspective. The TriWave MD Dermalux light therapy, which has got clinical evidence behind it and is medical grade, FDA approved. This is a medical light therapy, an LED light therapy that has 
hundreds of LED lights that emit energy or light energy at a certain amount of energy. Now we call that amount of energy fluent. Fluent is the measurement of how much energy leaves the LED light and hits the skin. And that's usually measured in joules per centimeter squared. So the tri-wave MD has about 240 joules per centimeter squared and that's its fluence. That's how much energy comes out of that device. That is a lot of LED light energy. And when light travels across from the LED light device, to the skin, it travels in what we call photons or packets of energy. So the output or the amount of energy is very important because in our tissues, we have something called threshold. Meaning if the amount of energy that reaches the skin is too low, below the threshold, nada is gonna happen. It's gonna do diddly squats, it's gonna be useless, and it's not going to be of clinical benefit. And then there's another measurement tool, which is called irradiance. And irradiance essentially is how much of the light actually reaches the skin. Now, in terms of fluence, we don't know very much about how much fluence is uh, delivered with these different LED light masks. Certainly, they're not all made the same. Many of these masks have just jumped off the bandwagon of the uh, trials and the clinical research on the medical grade ones, but they are not deemed medical grade. So I would say approach with extreme utmost caution. I would also say if you are a pigmentation or melasma prone patient, absolutely do not use uh, LED light therapy, certainly not to red LED light therapy. If you're not and you do, you're the type of person that wants to invest in home-based devices, you're gonna use them consistently, which one should you use? Well, it depends on what's going on for you. If you want one with red, near infrared, and blue light therapy, then an at-home medical grade one is the Dermalux Flex. And I do have respect for this company. I think they deliver fantastic fluence for an at-home based device. The Dermalux Flex delivers red, blue, and near infrared. The Saluma is also very similar. Both of these are worthwhile. The Saluma Restore curves over the head, so you can also use it for hair restoration. So if you've got thinning hair or you want to use it for hair restoration, that is a good two-in-one investment. The Dermalux Flex requires you to lie down, eyes closed, covers, and sit there for half an hour. So you need to be consistent. If you're gonna do that, as part of your wellness regime and you're going to do it consistently, great, that is a really good option for you. Now, to put it in perspective, again, the fluence from these are low compared to medical grade ones. 30 minutes on the home-based devices are like three minutes in a medical-based uh, clinic device. So that's because you get a lot more energy and photons of energy being delivered over a shorter period of time. What about if you want to walk around, you want to be mobile, you, like me, are traveling a lot, which one is useful? I like the Current Body Series 2 mask. This one is, I think, worth investing in. And this one is made by a company that has a good manufacturing process. Whilst it doesn't have robust clinical data out yet, I know that they are a serious company. They assess all of their bulbs, and their manufacturing process are very good. And actually I know that they are doing a lot of clinical research at the moment. And they, their particular master series two delivers three different types of wavelengths. They deliver 633, which is a red light therapy, which stimulates energy production, collagen fibroblasts and collagen synthesis, so you get more of a glow. It also has near infrared light therapy, which is good for wound healing, reduction in inflammation. So if you've got a rosacea on your skin or inflammation on your skin, that can help. And then there's also deeper infrared light therapy, which is a 1072 nanometer wavelength, which you know, again, data is still emerging about this, but can help again with tissue remodeling, uh, cellular communication and repair. So it's a good one to use as a, again, as an adjunct. I use this one. Um, I like it. It's easy. It's mobile. I stick the little portable charging thing in my pocket. I cook what I'm doing. I do my skincare Sundays. Sometimes I scare the taxi driver while I've got it on. Um, I play around with my kids. It's an easy to do. It doesn't disrupt your daily life. And it's just 10 minutes. For me, being at home on a low-grade 30-minute Dermalux Flex wouldn't make sense because I have access to the, the massive, amazing, incredible, strong devices where I know that three minutes, three times a week is all I need. So I use my current body one when I'm out and about, when I'm uh, traveling, and that's a nice kind of thing to keep me going in between. So if you want a mobile one, 
that is effective and not a waste of time, that's a good one. It's flexible, it sits very close to the skin so the irradiance is good, which means that the energy that leaves the LED light and reaches the skin is not just dispersed, it actually gets absorbed by the skin. Again, avoid this if you have melasma. But that's one that I think is worth investing in. And they have a helmet, which is a current body helmet, which is for hair loss, and you also wear that for 10 minutes a day. The most important thing is consistency. For the mitochondria to be stimulated, for energy to be produced, for the fibroblasts to lay down collagen, you need to be consistent. And when it comes to the uh, hair restoration, what we do know, there is research to show that red LED light therapy on the scalp can help to stimulate follicular uh, activity, cellular energy, and help to reduce hair shedding and improve hair growth. So which ones do I use? I actually have the current body helmet, super easy to use. You just pop it on 10 minutes a day. It delivers both red light therapy at around 630 nanometers and near infrared light therapy, which can reduce any inflammation in your scalp. Remember that the scalp needs to be healthy in order to have healthy hair. So this is a great adjunct to medical grade treatments. It's not instead of, it's alongside. So you might be having PRP. It's a nice to have alongside to stimulate hair growth and to reduce hair shedding. So those are the ones that I would um, recommend. And I think you can bag some good deals. I'll put my discount code here for anybody who does want to buy them and bag a discount for themselves. There are other devices that may be worth investing in. Now, microcurrent devices have been around for a while. There is a new face, which is good. My personal favorite is the Foreo Bear 2. This one delivers four different types of microcurrents. And these microcurrents deliver low level electrical stimulation, kind of similar to our bioelectrical current. And when you deliver this uh, energy to the tissues, it stimulates ATP production. Remember that we are in the era of regeneration. We now know that all the lines and wrinkles that we see on the outside are physical manifestations of cellular aging. And we can actually impact cellular aging. And that's what these devices are essentially doing. The Foreo Bear 2 delivers low level electrical stimulation. It boosts ATP production temporarily. It enhances muscle tone and lymphatic drainage. And it can create a visual mini lift. Just remember, when it comes to microcurrent devices, it's kind of like a gym workout. When you stop using it, the results go away. It's not going to cause any structural repositioning. It is not tightening up the musculature of the face. It's not restoring lost volume. So don't expect a facelift. Results are temporary. They don't last. It's a nice to have before an event. I might use it before an event, but it's definitely not part of my anti-aging repertoire or toolkit. It's a nice to have at home. Um, and something that I would take away to use if I'm going to an event. So the micro, out of all of the microcurrent devices, the one that I would recommend is the Foreo Bear 2. If you want a discount code for that, you can get one over here. At home, radio frequency and ultrasound. Mm -mm. Absolutely hell to the no. Not worth doing or investing in. Let me explain. This is like buying a 20 pound Argos Hoover and comparing it to a 500 pound Dyson or Miele Hoover. Yes, they're both Hoovers. They both suck up dirt, but they don't have the same output and ultimately output equals outcome. What do I mean by that? I mean that when it comes to the medical grade radio frequencies, which deliver heat, this heat is very controlled, it is temperature sensitive, and it has to be delivered at a certain depth in the tissues to reach the threshold for change. You also need it for a certain amount of time to create change. And even with the 50,000 pound radio frequency devices that we have, and the strong, strong, strong outputs that they have, results are still limited. This is skin deep. It is stimulating collagen production by way of remodeling because the heat energy, the thermal energy causes that essentially collagen remodeling. Are you going to get that from a home-based device that has limited penetration and reaching limited temperatures? No, there is zero clinical data to suggest that home-based radiofrequency devices stimulate the fibroblasts to create collagen. It is the same concept as the LED light therapy masks, basically hijacking and bouncing off the fact that there is clinical data on the medical grade ones and saying, well, if this Hoover works and this Hoover works and they're both called Hoovers, well, a Micra is also a car and a Ferrari is a car, but they have different outputs, right? And because they have different outputs, they reach different speeds, they reach their, their outcome is different, meaning your Micra isn't going to win a race with a Ferrari. When it comes to home-based radio frequency devices, in my opinion, it's kind of like using a hairdryer to make a cake. It's definitely not worth your intelligent investments and your skin deserves intelligent investments. 
Okay, so in terms of devices that I do not recommend you go next to with a barge pole is anything that does pore sucking. <laughs> Suction facial stuff at home, hell no. That is gonna damage your barrier function of the skin. It causes inflammation. I see all kinds of broken barriers, inflamed barriers, ingress of bacteria, redness, dryness, patches, angry, irritated, itchy. Do not do home-based pore sucking suction device led to treatments. Don't do DIY home-based microneedling. You can spread infection, you can cause micro tears in the skin, you can cause damage. Don't do radiofrequency and ultracell at home. There is no clinical data to support their use at home. I think it is not uh, worthwhile. The investment I think can cause potential damage and I don't think you're going to reach any meaningful threshold for actual clinical change. Worthwhile investment, LED light therapy. My favorites, the Saluma Restore if you want hair and face and you're gonna sit under it for 30 minutes. The Dermalux Flex if you want red, blue and infrared and you've got acne and you want collagen stimulation and you're the type to sit there for 30 minutes. If you're not the type to sit around for 30 minutes and you don't need blue light therapy, then the Saluma Series 2 is great for collagen stimulation. You can move around, it's 10 minutes. You've gotta be consistent. Um, and don't use it if you have melasma. For hair loss, the Saluma Restore and the Current Body Hair Mask or the Hair Helmet, love that one. And then the last device is the Foreo Bear 2 Microcurrent. If you just want to look a little bit contoured and lifted before an event and you want to look your best, it's a nice to have, not structural repositioning, not a facelift, but a nice to have for anyone who is puffy and wants to depuff their face and contour. It will aid with that lymphatic uh, drainage and stimulation but not a muscle stimulant, just kind of a collagen stimulant and, and some degree of an improvement in the lift temporarily. Pillow, that is a must have, and I'm sure there's gonna be a Black Friday sale, and if there is, I'll put a code here, is the Sleep and Glow Pillow. This is a non-negotiable for my patients and for me. I have two. I have one also for my husband. It is a structural support pillow so that when you're sleeping, you're not squishing your face like this because sleep position can absolutely cause sleep lines, sleep wrinkles, and accelerated facial aging. And as soon as my patients walk in, when I see them, I know exactly what side they sleep on because one side of their face has dropped. If you have chronic pressure for six, seven, eight hours on one side of the face, you're gonna have accelerated aging on that side. So the Sleep and Glow pillow that shows you how it supports the face so that you are not squishing your face when you're sleeping, and it just gives you that level of support and reduces fine lines and wrinkles. Try and get it with a silk pillowcase that helps as well. In summary, at-home devices are great when you know their role and you have realistic expectations. And if you want a supportive adjunct between your clinical treatments or to support your clinical treatments, you're not gonna get any structural repositioning, you're not gonna get a facelift alternative, but they are like your little supportive supplements that will help to optimize your skin health, your scalp health, and keep things going as a maintenance treatment. So if you're shopping this Black Friday, enjoy shopping. All the discount codes will be put below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below what else you would like me to video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining. Bye.